One of the best mechanics to learn to rank up fast is dribbling. Yet, most new players don't know where to start, and intermediate players don't know how to actually improve. So today, I'm going to be taking you through a step-by-step -step progression so that you can learn and level up your dribbling in the fastest time possible. And the best part is, I know this works because I've coached over 2,000 players inside Rocket League's number one live coaching program, where we use systems just like this to take players like you from zero to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less. By the way, at the time I'm recording this, we're at 52 of 125 seats taken for a 2023 launch of the GCR 2.0. If you didn't catch it, we're still giving away $100 discount codes to just the first 100 of those 125 who reach out in time for our 2023 launch. DM me on Discord with the keyword wait, and we can talk details about coaching. My Discord will be the first link down below. Otherwise, enjoy the video, guys. Okay, so we're going to split this video up into five levels of dribbling that will each build on each other and help you learn the fastest. So seriously, pay attention and follow in order. We'll start with level one, and that is actually a workshop map called Noob Dribble by DMC. The first thing you have to do if you want to learn how to dribble is, of course, learn how to actually hit the ball. Yet so many dribble tutorials and so many people out there I know will just jump straight into trying to like carry it on their car without any previous training and when you do that as many of you know you'll probably fail so instead i want you to start with this map called noob dribble which is basically just a mini golf map where you can practice hitting the ball into specific targets and it's the best place to start out in my opinion if you've never dribbled before and if you don't have access to this map that's fine you can kind of just go into free play and practice hitting the ball around because before you can even learn how to carry the ball you need to just learn how to hit it consistently we will give you a better understanding of your ground sensitivity and how much you actually need to turn to hit the ball which is the most important thing so start here get a grip for your sensitivity and only when you can actually make contact with the ball consistently should you go on to level two Level two is something I call wall assisted dribbling. And to do this drill, you basically want to take the ball and try to pin it between the wall and your car as you drive circles around the field. You can either take the ball from spawn and do this, or just use the up command on your controller D-pad to spawn the ball on your car and then sort of push it to the wall. So with this drill, your goal should really just be to match the speed of the ball and slowly try to push it forward around the map. Remember, if you want the ball to go forward, your car has to be slightly behind it, which might be a little counterintuitive at first. And of course, if you want to slow the ball down, you're gonna have to drive out in front of the ball. This is an important aspect of dribbling. As you're starting out wall-assisted dribbling, I want you to avoid using boost and brakes as much as possible. Once you get comfortable going both ways, you can then experiment using boost and brakes. But what I want you to notice very quickly is when you use boost and brakes, the ball is gonna jump out pretty quickly. So take this as a warning, get in the habit of really only relying on your gas. And as you get better carrying the ball around the map, you'll be able to keep it upright just by slowly easing off the gas and putting them back on, not by hitting the brakes. For level three, we're finally going to try to keep the ball on our car. For this one, we'll go into free play, but since this is the biggest jump in difficulty so far, we're actually gonna add a half step and that's to slow game speed down. Down. If you didn't know, you can slow the speed that your Rocket League training is going at if you have Bacchus Mod on PC by just going into your Bacchus Mod settings or by creating a private match and just turning down game speed in the mutator settings there. Either way, turn down that game speed to 0.5 and we're simply going to hit the up command on our D-pad to put the ball on our car and practice keeping it up. We're once again gonna try to start out without using boost, without using brakes as much as possible, and just focus on keeping the ball up. Don't even try to score it. The key here is to turn ball cam off. And one thing that I've heard has helped a lot of people is instead of paying attention to the ball or your car, simply look at the silhouette of ball cam on the ground. If you notice that the silhouette starts to drift to the right, you're gonna do a small input forward and to the right and ease into the gas just a small amount. As you get better and better, you're gonna wanna first focus on just keeping the ball up. And then once you can do that, try to make your goal to steer the ball towards the net. 
For level four, we're gonna jump over to a training pack by a great YouTuber and guide creator out there named Waiten, and we're gonna shift back to normal speed. Your goal with this pack is going to be to score these first two or three shots without boosting or using the brakes as much as possible and taking it slow. When you move into real speed, you're gonna be tempted to make a bunch of jarring cuts. The minute you see the ball fall off your car, you're gonna wanna hit boost, and as tempting as it is to do that, what I want you to focus on for this stage is making the minimum possible correction to keep the ball up. If you try to make a correction and it's not enough and the ball falls off your car, that's totally fine. What you don't want to get in the habit of doing is cutting back and forth really rapidly and having these super uncontrolled dribbles because you're always trying to correct for the last adjustment you made. Once you can take the ball completely to the net without boost, only then add boost back in and you're going to learn so much quicker that way. Okay, moving on to level five, you now understand the carry and really the only last part of the dribble is the actual setup or what you might hear some people call the catch. To get a dribble actually started off the ground, we're going to continue to use this training pack here by Waiten for some good examples. And on these, it's important to remember that the only way to get a pop on the ball is to strike it with your car in a direction opposite the ball is rolling. You actually don't need to hit the ball very hard to get a good pop and be able to catch under it. But if the ball is rolling to the side or if it's completely stationary, you're going to have to get at it from a little bit of an angle. And then as you turn ball cam off and move into the carry, you might have to boost to actually get under it. A big part of getting catches down is going to be repetition because you just simply need to see how your car interacts with the ball from different angles. For catches coming from the air, always aim to catch the ball off to the front or sides of your car. The reason for this is because one of the biggest mistakes new dribblers will make is try to catch the ball dead on the top center of their car. And the problem is usually the ball will just pop off of your car as if it was just hitting a flat piece of ground or something like that. Instead, if you catch it on the front or sides of your car, the sort of curvature of your body will absorb some of the impact and help make that catch smoother. But okay, that kind of covers most of the tips from here. It's just a matter of making sure you can get each shot in this pack 100%. And once you can do that, you now know how to dribble from beginner to pretty advanced compared to most. At this point, if you want, you can learn how to start incorporating power slide into your dribbles, which I'll have another tutorial linked on screen for, or you may want to learn how to actually finish these shots. And since that I think is more relevant to most players, we'll cover it here. In general, the two main ways you're gonna wanna look to score your dribbles are gonna be flicks and bounce dribbles. In most cases, flicks should be your option when you're facing a defender who's challenging frequently or playing very close to you. This is because flicks allow you to get a quick direction change and play the ball around somebody on very short notice, even if they're not giving you much room to breathe. Bounce dribbles, on the other hand, take a little bit more time to set up, but are generally better against goalies or people playing back and giving you more space. This is because bounce dribbles have a constantly changing height, which means you can fire off shots while still waiting behind and being able to say follow up, even if a goalie makes a save. In terms of how to practice these and get them consistent, in my opinion, the best way to train both is just gonna be in free play. For flicks, reset your car, spawn the ball on your car using the D-pad, like we said, and just practice repping out all the different flicks on different parts of your car. The only real tip I can give for flicks is you really wanna focus on the location of the ball before you flick it. What I mean by that is if the ball is on the backside of your car, a front flip flick just isn't going to work very well. You want the ball to be out on the front of your car. That way your first jump into the flick won't pop the ball too far away before you can actually get power on it. For bounce dribbles, on the other hand, when you go in free play, you can use the right command on your D-pad to roll the ball at you. And for these, it's all about just practicing timing on the up bounce. What I mean by this is you want to practice connecting with the ball right after it hits the ground so your car transfers momentum to the ball while it's rising in its bounce. This is what's going to give you good controlled bounce dribbles that you can actually turn into shots. But unfortunately, this is once again very much a timing and precision thing that honestly I can't give any specific tips on other than to just rep it out. 
But don't be too tough on yourself with this because this is much, much harder than it looks. And even if you just put five minutes a day into practicing timing the up bounce, you're gonna see so much progress in your actual ball control in game. With that, you're now ready to go use these mechanics in game. And the only parting tip I'll give you before you do is to remember that using mechanics in game takes a big adjustment from using them in free play. Don't be discouraged if you struggle at first. And if you get into game and you realize any part of your dribbles are specifically lacking, simply go back to this tutorial, go back to the level you're struggling most with and add a little bit of extra training to that. Let me know which level you're currently working on or if you have any bonus tips down below, DM me on Discord with the keyword wait if you're interested in more coaching if you're sick of watching youtube videos and you just want everything to improve all in one place otherwise i'll have my other dribbling video for more advanced players if you want to take it to the next level after watching that i'll have it linked on screen and as always thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video